Hey guys, today I have a topic that is probably not very popular because no one wants to talk about it, but we're going to talk about pale colored stool. I mean, someone needs to talk about it. Might as well be me, right? All right. So what is it? Well, before I get into what is it, I'm going to explain a little background of how you would develop that problem. Okay. So to understand that we have to kind of go through a little bit of biochemistry. I'm going to keep it really, really brief and simple. There is a chain reaction in the body that occurs when your blood cells break down. So if your red blood cells are getting older or they're damaged, your body's going to recycle them. So the hemoglobin, which carries the oxygen, which is the protein part, splits off. So the iron goes this way, which is red, and the heme goes another pathway to the liver. And so the hemoglobin turns into heme, then it turns into something called biliverdin. Okay, biliverdin, which is a green colored, it's a green pigment. It's what makes your bile green because the bile helps excrete it from the liver into the small intestine where it can be eliminated. So we have heme, then we have biliverdin, which is green. And then we have a substance called bilirubin, and that is yellow, kind of orangish yellow. And that is what makes your urine yellow. And it's also something that if backed up into the liver, into the skin, it'll turn your skin yellow or your eyes yellow as jaundice. So I'll come back to that in a second. So in the small intestine, some of that bilirubin, which is yellow, gets absorbed into the intestine, into your blood, turns into urine. That's why it's yellow. And then you also have bacteria that act on bilirubin. They help oxidize it and they turn it brown. So your stool normally should be brown from the bacterial oxidation of bilirubin. So that's a little foundation of what you need to know. Now what happens, and this is a very common problem, is if the hemoglobin breakdown chain reaction doesn't occur from the liver to the small intestine, and it gets kind of stuck or blocked because someone has a gallstone or some sludge through these little ducts, they're called bile ducts. And the medical name for that is coleostasis, where the bile is not moving properly. Let's say, for example, you get a blood test and you have high levels of bilirubin, right? But you also have dark colored urine, you have pale colored a stool, could be like gray colored. What's happening is we have a blockage. So we're getting darker urine and we're getting absence of this pigment in the stool. And that's why it's a light kind of a chalky colored. So we don't get this pigment ending up in the stool. So it's light colored or clay colored. That usually means you have some blockage in the bile ducts, or it could mean your liver is not producing bile because it's damaged. So one good symptom to tell you if you have a blockage between the liver and the small intestine, and primarily the bile ducts, is light colored stool, dark urine, um, a little bit of jaundice could be one of the symptoms, as well as itchiness which is the bile being backed up into the skin. And bile is very, very, very beneficial to your body, but not if it's in the wrong place. So we never want bile to be kind of stuck in the liver because it's a detergent and it will start irritating and creating inflammation. Now, the simple solution to all this is simply to take purified bile salts because, because if it's blocked, we're having a more of a super concentrated cholesterol situation, cholesterol crystals, and it's the bile that helps to break that up. So taking more bile in an empty stomach, maybe twice a day, will help to open up the flows from the liver to the small intestine and restore the, the, the problem. But there's a deeper problem, and that usually has to do with the person's diet. So if you're new to my channel and you're not familiar with what to eat, I put a link down below, check it out because you need to be on something called healthy keto and intermittent fasting to really get rid of the deeper root cause.
that's behind this whole thing in the first place. All right, thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you wanna know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the US. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.